Is your house currently for sale or you're thinking about selling it and your primary water source is a well? You want to make sure you watch this video for some helpful selling tips. Number one, if you go to sell your house and you have a well, typically the mortgage company will want a clean water certificate, both on bacteria and chemical. Many people that rent their uh, cottages out in that will only do one. They won't do both tests. You need both tests done. You also have to have an unbiased third party to perform the test. It doesn't necessarily have to be a water test company. It could be a plumber, a contractor, anyone that's not directly related to the transaction. A water test is not a condition of a sale of a home. It's a condition of a mortgage. And the vast majority of the time, the bank will want an acceptable water test. Sometimes in an instance where it's a cottage and you can't gain access to it, they will waive the water test. So what happens if you get a bad water test? Well, you need to do two more. So you could be into a month and a half, two months, because they're not quick to do. So you're going to delay your closing. Fact of the matter is, in my opinion, if you're drinking water that comes out of a well, you should have it tested every six months regardless. Which brings me to my next point. When you do the water test, it's good for six months in reference or an application to selling that house and getting a, uh, a mortgage approval. So if it fails and you do your tests and there's no way you can get clean water, then you'll probably end up putting a filtration system in and a UV system. And they usually want you to put a water softener in so you don't damage those systems. And that can cost, uh, it's just under probably $2,000. I'm not going to quote a price because that's not my business. So that's it. I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland. We're giving away an iPad this year. Visit iPad.MichaelsHomes.com for information.